Hello and welcome back to Raptors Evolved. My name is Rampy and this is the series where we try and beat the entirety of Ark with just Raptors. So, goodness me, we have got a lot going on today. So I ran a poll on my uh, community tab uh, the, other, the other day, just before the last episode came out, where I said, did you guys want to see separate videos for all three bosses? Because, you know, we are at the time now where we're taking on the Guardians of the Island. And you guys clearly wanted one big video, so that is what you are going to have today. Uh, I sound probably rough, uh, because it was my brother's stag do at the weekend, so, you know, Rampy went a bit hard. But, he's back now, and it's time to get this video out for you guys. You've waited long enough. Um, and uh, before we get into it, you might notice that I am at Green Obelisk today. We're not starting at the base. Now, there is a reason for that, and that is because I can't show you the base now. We have something very very interesting going on back on herbivore island right now and you know let's just say i may have got been in talks with one of the best upcoming arc builders out there and next time you guys see the base it's going to be a masterpiece no more rampy terrible builds it's going to be a masterpiece so i'm really excited to show you guys that um i don't know if that's going to be the next episode the episode after that whenever but soon you guys are going to see a really cool I'm not. I'm trying not to spoil anything. You're going to see something. I just can't wait to show you it. Um, but without further ado, uh, today we are taking on the three bosses. Now we're going to start with the brood mother. Um, but hang on, before I go on to, I, I made the journeyman saddles, and um, I do have a crafting um, skill potion. I added that to my like mod list. Um, and also, there, there are more mods now, which is to do with the building, and yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to reveal too much, but anyway, I'm going to be dropping a, like, rampy mod list um, thing in the description. It might not be on this episode, because I need to put it together, but I will be doing that very soon. Um, so, I, I, I added this crafting skill mod, which is why all these raptors are... They all, I, I basically made the 20 journeyman saddles, and they were all made with crafted skill bonus. So... You know, they're all a kind of, most of them are around sort of like, well, all 50 plus. So yeah, this is, this is one of the better ones, like a 58 armor, which is not too bad. Now, it's not great, and I am going to make the ramshackle ones for like the rest of the raptors, because I was farming hide for like an hour and a bit uh, to make all these saddles, and it wasn't very fun. But Lightning got a lot of use. Lightning himself has got a nice 59 armor, and yes, Lightning is coming into the bosses. We're, we're risking it. Lightning has been, and it, you know... The beacon of hope in this challenge so far, and we have to, we've got to keep him going. We've got to keep him going. So, yes, uh, other news, I have also mind wiped. These are the stats I will now be running for the entirety of the rest of the challenge. Now, as you can see previously, I had like things like movement speed pumped a bit. I had weight pumped a bit more because I'd be farming. So, you know, we're not, we don't, we're kind of past that stage now. I've got a greenhouse, I can make tintos easily. Uh, I've got, so I've got some med brews here as well. But the main thing that I did really is I've pumped health a bit more, 450 health and at 90 fortitude. So that we're not, we shouldn't have any difficulties, I'm hoping, in either the tech cave or the boss fights here. Now, I know the Megapithecus fight in particular uh, can be pretty cold. So I'm going to, you know, I'm wary, but I'm thinking that we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, we will also be bringing plenty of med brews to the tech brews, like well over 100 med brews. Um, I don't want to run into any, uh, any instance there. But yeah, without further ado, I think we are almost ready to go. But we do have one more thing to do before we go take on our first boss today. And that is, of course, name these boss raptors. I think we have, like... and Oh, hang on. Have I got another one in my, on my own? Oh, found another one. Didn't, didn't even see that one on my hotbar. Uh, that's a good job, that. Uh, otherwise, we would have gone in one raptor light. But I think we've got about 18, 19 here. I don't even know if we have exactly 20. But I am going to name these raptors after you guys. So I'm not even going to look on just the last video. I'm going to look for comments as the series of a whole... Um, throughout all the videos and I think maybe we'll do like a kind of like naming montage I'll try and put the comments up on the screen uh, At the same time I'm making a lot more editing work for myself, but you know, this is it's a big episode I want to get it. I want to get it good for you guys So if you want a raptor named after you even if you don't get it today make sure to keep commenting on the videos uh, Because pretty much for the next couple of bosses we might we probably gonna have to mutate and breed more raptors again There's an alpha raptor over there All right, I'm not gonna lose health though as tempting it is it's not worth it um, so yes, as we're going to name all these raptors, so, uh, I'm going to put, like, a nice little naming montage up for you guys, and I'll see you guys back in a couple of minutes when we're going to take on the Gamma Brute Mother. 
So I will see you guys. Oh, hang on, one more thing. One more thing before I go. So I've been thinking, originally, basically, I always said we'll do all the gamma bosses. But that might change per map. So for example, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, really, reality is to do the alpha bosses on the island. You know, I would like this series to end before Ascended. Um, but for example, on the center, where you've just got the six artifacts to get, I, the boss is very easy on the center. I, I'm thinking maybe we try and do like beta or alpha. So let me know what you guys think. Or maybe I just make, per map, we change it up, depending on what I think we're capable of doing. Obviously, things like Genesis is just going to be a gamma because yeah, Genesis 1 is pain. Pain. Lots of pain. Anyway, I'm going to go name the Raptors, and I'll see you guys back in just a second. And we are back. The Raptors have been named. Thank you all so much for your comments. So far in the series, guys, I do really appreciate the support on uh, what has been a kind of new adventure for the channel. Obviously, we will be making this into a 100 days video with production on that already underway. Um, but I do really appreciate the support on the kind of more consistent upload style. Um, it has been... I've had a blast doing it, honestly, and I'm, I'm so glad that so many of you guys seem to have enjoyed the series as well. So, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. We've got, hopefully three bosses to get through today now of course the pain of single player is that we have to do that we have to go to each obelisk so we're gonna have to go to blue orb we're gonna have to cry these back up go all the way to blue orb for the megapithecus then go to red orb for the dragon maybe i like move these move the file onto servers at some point i'll have to, i'll have to work that out which just remind me actually if you do want to get yourself a arc server look at my link in the description and get yourself 10 percent off a g portal server it also helps to <coughs> Excuse me. It also helps to support the channel, so that would be fantastic. Right, without further ado, it's time to take on the Gamma Broodmother. I am, of course, going to be getting straight on McQueen. We get in there, doing the alpha, the, doing the pack buff, and um, I'm kind of banking on us winning this. I don't really, I'm not really that scared of the Broodmother. Perhaps I should be. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Bowlers at the ready for the bowler gods. Just run a bowler the brood mother. And let's get it. Get him, Raptors. Oh, it's a her, isn't it? It's a her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I hate, I hate that poison ball. There's a lot of damage that. How are the raptors looking? Um, pretty good. Yeah, we will be fine. We'll be fine. No issues on this one, I don't think. I'm just trying to use my pack buff. Is there, a, there must be a cooldown on it. Oh. There we go, there's the pack buff. And there is the Broodmother down. 20 element. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh no, I didn't bring a taxidermy tool in. I think I've got to re-unlock it as well. Taxidermy tool. Okay. Alright, well, I, I don't think you guys will... Um, I'll bring one in for the next bosses. I don't think you guys will begrudge me too much spawning in a Broodmother Taxidermy, will you? 
I don't think you'll begrudge me too much. Because then we could keep a record of all the bosses that we have slayed along the way. Well, that was a good start. That was a good start. How are the raptors doing health-wise? Wow. Barely lost any health. By the time I go over to Blue Obelisk next, they'll probably already be healing. So we've got 20 element. Um, from all these boss fights together, I don't. I think I maybe do. Will I get 100 elements to be able to make a replicator? I think that's. But that that would be the goal. If we get 100 element, we will of course try and make a replicator. I mean, getting the resources to make a replicator with just raptors is going to be painful, but we'll work. Where's lightning? There he is. I thought. I thought for a minute that coming out of the boss arena had got rid of lightning's color. Oh, I didn't bring my soul gun. All right, that's fine. I need to go back to base anyway. Um, I'm going to leave these raptors here because I didn't bring my soul gun. I, I need to go back to base and grab my soul gun and grab the next set of artifacts. Because I didn't want to carry them all on me. And I know I probably could have made a storage box, but I was being lazy. Uh, now, you guys can't come with me to base because I would, that would be ruining the surprise. So I'm going to go see you back at Green Obelisk with my soul gun and the next set of artifacts. And then we're probably going to head off to Blue Obelisk. So I will see you guys very, very shortly. All right, back we are now. I'm going to... Oh, hang on. They've all got levels. Not much, though, actually. I thought they might have crazy levels from the spiders, but they don't. As you can see, they're all kind of mostly healed up. I probably... Oh, that one, that one took a bit of a beating. I only had 17k, that one. Um, but they did have some extra levels when I uh, was saddling them all earlier. So, as you can see, they're all over, like, well over 1k melee now. And they're... Uh, all over 20k health. Some of them have 21k health. But yes, they're all cryo. Now I've grabbed the artifacts for the monkey, which will be next. So I'm hoping that with the prim fur as well, we'll be fine. Maybe I make a torch as well. Oh, hang on. I do have a torch. Yeah, sing it. I'll make a couple of torches just because, you know, you can never be too safe. You can never be too safe. Now the monkey fight should be okay. There is the issue that you've got to play the monkey fight quite carefully um, because the monkey can whack your dinos off a uh, cliff and kill them. And uh, the, the worst thing would be if lightning was to be whacked off this cliff uh, because then I would go and then all the raptors would die as well. <laughs> so um, we've got to try and play it fairly carefully. The broodmother is by far the fight that I had the least concerns about. I never really had any concerns that we would struggle to beat the broodmother. Um, the dragon... I think we will be okay, uh, mainly because I've done the dragon fight quite a few times. I And last time when I did it with raptors, I was kind of worried about the dragon. But a lot of the time, the dragon, the raptors are too small for the dragon to hit. They kind of get underneath the dragon, and the dragon just can't really do very much to it. Um, like it's the hitbox of the dragon is just shocking, the way Ark have done it. Maybe they'll fix that for a sender, who knows, who knows. Um, but yeah, that was good. I, honestly, we probably could have done the Broodmother on beta. Uh, we wouldn't have done it on Alpha. We'd have got destroyed. Uh, Alpha Broodmother is no joke. Unless you're using Megatheriums, in which case it's uh, it's a walk in the park. Because Megatherium insect buff is is OP. So if you guys don't know how to do Alpha Broodmother, use Megatheriums. Trust me. You can even do it with... A, if you have a couple, a lot of people, you can do it with good tamed Megatheriums. As long as they're leveled and stuff. And good saddles normally. But like... Yeah, you can do Alpha Broodmother with like four Megatheriums. As if they're decent. It's... Uh, it, it, it is very... Uh, Megatheriums are very good for that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to head on over to Blue Obelisk and I will see you guys back when we're there. It's probably going to be night time. So I'm probably going to wait till the day to go in anyway. Because uh, then the arena won't be quite as cold. So I'll see you guys when we're back at uh, Blue Obelisk. Right, so we are back. It is the next morning. We're on day 88. It is 9am in the morning. Um, and I was never really actually cold overnight. I would, So no, never freezing. I was cold for a brief period of time. Never went to freezing, and that was at, like, the coldest part of the night. And the coldest part of the night, I think, is normally about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, midnight time. Um, so I'm pretty confident we should be fine in this boss fight. The worst case, I'll be freezing ever so slightly, and I've got some med brews. Um, so it's time to take on the monkey. I'm going to spawn him in. And I'm going to immediately bring the raptors to the kind of, like, back of the arena. Uh... And this is, this is where I would recommend fighting the monkey. You don't want to fight him near the bridge. If you fight this monkey near the bridge, it might end in disaster. And I would hate for you guys to uh, for it to end in disaster. Because we do not like big trouble around here. We do not like big trouble. 
So, let's take on our second island boss with just raptors. Oh, we're not even freezing. Great stuff. Alright, come here, you lot. And we're going to go this way. Come on, raptors. That'll do. Right, now I've got to be pretty careful there. I've got to aggro the monkey and make sure he comes this way. Hi, monkey. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's coming. I do not want to get hit by a boulder because that might knock me off the ledge. There's an invisible barrier there, but there isn't there. And you've always got to be careful with these invisible barriers. Never trust them too much. It's my advice. I think I've been knocked off the edge over here in the corner before. But yeah, that's like the main culprit, that death pit right there. Right, I'm going to wait for the monkey to literally come all the way over here. He's probably going to launch a big rock at me in a minute. Come on, throw your rock. There it is. Yeah, pathetic. All right, we're waiting. We're waiting. Get him, raptors. Yeah, let's get the pack buff in. All right. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem, he problem health-wise. Gamma monkey is not really that difficult. How much damage do they do? Like 100 per hit? 160 I'm seeing. Oh, the boulder does 472. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Go on, lightning. Get in there, lad. I'm doing 363 as the pack leader, I believe. It's a huge difference. Wow. Well, that was a bit of a walk in the park, to be honest. An absolute walk in the park. Raptors Supreme. Once again, I've still not got a taxidermy, but uh, I, I, like I said, I'm sure you guys won't uh, begrudge me. For aesthetics, keeping record of our bosses on taxidermies. Um, but yes, very nice, very nice. Uh, I've got the trophy. I dropped the Broodmother stuff back at base, so that's nice and secure. All right, 40 element from that. And I think we get like, do we get like 800 from the Gamma Dragon? Yeah, we definitely will have enough for a replicator. We could definitely have enough for the replicator. I know people have said, like, you could, I don't even know if you can use... No, I don't think you can use tech suits in the tech cave itself, right? But you can in the Overseer fight. Is that correct? Um, but people have said, like, oh, you could, like, glider down all the way to the end of tech cave. Trust me, it's tempting. But I'm not going to do it. Because the whole purpose is that we want to use raptors in this challenge. So... You guys who watched my 100 Days of Raptors before will probably understand why I'm very apprehensive of the tech cave still. Um, and that word doesn't even be begin with G. It's not the Giga that spawns at the end there. Uh, I'm going to be properly prepared for that this time and have a gun to kite into the lava. Last time I didn't have a gun. And uh, those who will remember I ended up fighting it uh, <laughs> fighting it with my Raptors. Wasn't the smart idea. Um, but the main problem in there is the UTs, which of course fear the Raptors. They are the main problem by a long way. So, I guess it's time to leave Blue Obby and head, which, do we jump off the, do we jump off Blue Obby? Oh, I was, oh, I was about to say the red drop down there, but it's, it's now gone. Right, so red, red Obby's that way. Yeah, go on, let's slide down the cliff at least. Uh-oh, oh, that, that would have, that was almost bad. I'm trying to not take unnecessary damage on McQueen. McQueen has barely had a scratch. Obviously, the imprint bonus helps, but McQueen like just doesn't get damaged. It's just an absolute machine. All right, I'm going to uh, navigate this mountainside. And uh, yeah, I think the main thing I was saying was that I'm scared of the UTs. And because all, all my raptors last time got feared into the lava. So we still need to work out a plan for UTs. There's obviously there's things you can do. Like I'll bring like a long neck and we'll try and kite UTs that we can into the lava. But yeah, there's, there's, there's ways we can deal with it. I just need to find out what I think is the best way to do it. Uh, a net gun is also one option, like running up and netting the UT, but that's a risky option. Because if I run up, it fears me before I net it. I'm in the want of uh, better words. Big trouble. Big trouble. All right, I'm going to run over to Red Obelisk, guys. We'll let the Raptors heal up a bit there, so I'll probably see you back. Uh, probably have to do uh, a bit of slow-mo and wait another day for the Raptors to heal up. But when they are all healed, we will be taking on the last boss, which is, of course, the Gamma Dragon. Um, in terms of episodes this week... I don't know whether we'll be doing 
we'll be going straight to Tech Haven, the Overseer. It depends on the building projects that are going on back at base and when we when we show that. Would you like to see the build the building before or like as a series? Not as a series. Not as a series. Oh no! Hang on. This okay. Why do you always do this? Ah! Lightning! Take that, Sarko. Um, yeah, let me guys know if you would prefer to see the building projects before we do Tech Cave or as a season one finale, so to speak, of Raptors Evolved. Uh, let, let me know. Let me know. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to shut up now and I'll see you at Red Obelisk. Right, we are back with Red Obelisk. I had to go back to base to get the artifacts, but that was fine because these guys needed time to heal. I've been sat at the Obelisk for a while now anyway, just waiting. Uh, they're mostly all healed, but um, we're going to go in. We're going to go in at this point. I'm, I i would not say I'm, uh, you know, I'm fairly confident, I suppose. But the dragon is probably the more, one of the more difficult ones. that You've got to avoid his fireballs, his the, dim the dimorphodons, which are incredibly annoying. Um, I have considered doing a Ark Island no damage playthrough or big video at some point but i thought was one of the things that put me off is that the dimorphodons and the micro raptors and palovias in the tech cave but i'd rather not talk about that that's that just sounds painful i'm currently doing scorched earth no damage over on my twitch at the moment and um my latest run which was going very well i died to a micro raptor so you guys wait till that video comes out i don't know when it's going to come out it's going to be a good video it's going to be a good video all right Without further ado, I've taken the fur off. I've got... Oh, I got a pair of Apprentice Gilly Leggings from a blue drop on the way over to do the monkey fight. And that's kind of useful for this fight because Dragon's a bit hot. Uh, I am going to move my Med Brews actually into slot one because you might need them in the Dragon fight. This is the most challenging fight that we have apart from the Tech Cave. But I am quietly confident. We've just got to make sure that we play it well once we get into the arena. So without further ado, enjoy the last fight. Alright, there's Dragon. He's going to hit them with a fireball. I know he is. That's just part of the parcel of the Dragon fight. I'm just going to whistle passive. we just got to wait for him to land, honestly. I've got to try and avoid them personally. This is by far the longest fight as well of this video because you've got to wait for him to land. Where's his fireball? What is this dragon doing? There it is. There it is. Oof. Not too bad. Only a couple hundred damage. Ah. I'm sorry, raptors. I'm sorry. Where is he? Oh, he's above me. He's above me. All right. Right, now kill him, raptors. Right, where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Oh! There's another one. Yep, this is still the most difficult fight. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not into the lava. Not into the lava. Come on, lightning. Take the, take the dime off out. Right, we'll wait for him to come over here. Wait for him. He comes over here, otherwise we're going to end up fighting him in the lava. And... Go now! Go now! Alright, I've done the pack buff. Underneath the legs, guys. Underneath the legs. Okay, he is still hitting some of them. A lot of these raptors he just can't hit. 400k health, though, is still a lot. That damage from McQueen, bearing in mind he has the lowest damage DPS here, is just crazy. 800 damage. He's like biting like a couple of the raptors like over and over. But all these lot, he's just not hitting. Oh, we lost two raptors. We lost three raptors. Some casualties have been taken. But I think we will be successful. Oh, oh he's moving. And we are successful. The dragon is down. 80 element is secured. 
But we did... We did lose a couple of casualties. I am so sorry, my friends. I am so sorry. And I can't even get your saddles back because the dragons fell on the, fell on the bags. You inconsiderate arsehole dragon. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I managed to harvest it. Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm sorry, raptors. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, pause. That, that's ultimately where... The dragon... If you can get underneath his legs, you can win. But the dragon's DPS, and it's the fire breath, guys. I don't know if you... Most of you probably know, but some of you may not. The dragon's fire breath attack is a percentage-based attack. It does 20%. Of the base HP. So it will do 5k. It will do 4k. Pretty much every time. Um, it's an absolute killer that to be honest. An absolute killer. How many did we lose? How many did we lose? If I get the tribe log up. It will reveal. Some... We lost. We lost three raptors. We lost three raptors. Okay. Well. There we have it. Another 120 element. I didn't take the element back. And all the monkey tributes. Wow, that would have been really bad if I... That was really stupid of me. That was really stupid of me. But it's fine. We got both, We got the Gamma Dragon Trophy. The Gamma Mega Pithecus Trophy. 120 elements. So we will be making a tech replicator at some point. What am I going to need for a replicator? Oh, I can have a look, right? I've unlocked it. 100 element. 600 crystal. Crystal's fine. The polymers. Ah, polymers all right. 5,000 ingots and 150 black pearls is not going to be fun. We might have to bring the aqua raptors back and go go, go hunt some two says. Either that or we make a replicator at a later date after we've moved to a different map where black pearls are easier to get. We'll, we will see. We will see. Either way, guys, my name has been Rampy. I know I promised a bumper video, and it has been a bumper video in the sense we fought three bosses. But I also realise that this might be one of the shorter vi videos of the entire series. But yes, let me know what you guys would like to see next. It will be Friday, you will next see me. And it may well be time to take on the Tech Cave. Or maybe you'll get a new base tour. We'll see. We will see. Let me know what you guys want. Like I said, I will do my best to accommodate, although it may depend on availability. So... Thank you all so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and leave a comment in the just, uh, you know, what your thoughts were. And let's give you a comment to where uh, I love McQueen in the comments because, you know, everyone loves a good bit of Lightning McQueen. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming to the latest episode of Raptors Evolved. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.